Hey, your boy Sly here. Uh, some base tips. Uh, recently, a student of mine asked me she wanted to jam. She wanted to do a little bit more spicier bass lines um, rather than just playing roots. So I'm going to show you a pattern that works really, really well. What this is, we're going to be in the key of G. High G, and then your low G often, right? All right, we're going to start with the high G. And what we're going to do is we're going to play a G. That is, this is your root. And you're going to go across the street down to the A string tonally and on the seventh fret. And then you're going to go down to the fifth fret, uh, the D. All right, so you're going... So that's the pattern. And you can rhythmicize it any way you want. All right? So let's say the pattern, let's say the chord progression is G, F to C. G, F, C. Here we go. Two bars each. One bar, two. So as long as so that and that pattern works all over the bass. Now, let's say we use the lower G, and what that's going to give you is more of like a old school Stax Records, like Wilson Pickett kind of um, like blues bluesy kind of thing. It sounds great. Like do low G. So we're still keeping the the E to the D. That doesn't change. We're just changing the, 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 the root point, the octave. And so you could do that for all the changes. It'll sound like this. You can start off down, down to F, the octave, C. Have fun with that. Hey, make sure you like this and uh, check out my YouTube channel, Sly Gerald's on YouTube. All right. Have a blessed day. See you. Peace.